Hello and welcome to Morning on the Farm. Um, in this uh, video today, I'm going to do a bit of maintenance actually, but it's an important bit of maintenance. So I have a lot of outdoor stuff, as you can see, we live on a farm, you know, hay bales and things. Um, but I also have a lot of networking stuff outside, which means I have a lot of things, well, in the open, in the weather. And one of the problems, not problems, but the thing I knew I had to fix is here at the pump shed, which is right behind me there. You can see if I just move it up here on that pole there, up there, there's some equipment. And I used, <laughs> hello, um, I used indoor rated cables and I know I did this because I just had to get it done when I was doing it but I knew I had to upgrade it at some point so today I'm going to change indoor rated cables to outdoor rated cables talk a bit about why that's important and what the difference is uh, I'm going to replace the cables up here and I'm going up to all this stuff here like yes there uh, with some proper outdoor rated UE rated cables so that's the bit we're replacing this is the flex switch from Unifar, so this is an outdoor rated switch, and I have this very nice case, I can't remember what it's called, flick switch case thing, um, which hoses the, hoses? Houses the actual switch, which is sitting right there, like a Christmas tree. Beep, beep. So this is PoE power, it's kind of cool actually. Um, the uh, it, You can power it from another switch, if you had one nearby, I don't, so I have a PoE injector. But these are the problems, right? Look at this, I have all these indoor rated cables here, that we need to replace because they're just getting crusty, but I'll show you that. So there's one for my nano station, which gets the connection up here. There's one for an outdoor access point, the Flex HD. There's one for a camera, Llama Cam 1, and there's one for Llama Cam 2, which is that one there. So those four I'm gonna change so that they're now proper outdoor UV rated cable, but uh, let's do that. That's all the spaghetti that came out of that. It's a lot of cable and you can see it's even got different colors and everything. So instead I'm going to replace it with these lovely things. So let me just show you sort of what the difference is to some effect, but let me just put that down here. All right, so you can see this stuff here. So this thing is quite soft. And it's quite pliable, indoor rated. And usually it has a there you go, standard on it, there's so this patch cable. And up to 75 degrees. So it doesn't actually say indoor, but I know it's indoor rated. I'm not sure what the exact standard is, but this is all rubbish. What happens is that when this is out in the sun, the casing, the outer casing on here cracks. And then the wires get exposed and then they crack the outer and then you get shortages and all sorts of water gets into it. It's really nasty. So don't use these outdoors, even though I did, but I knew, replace them. Instead, you use these things, which are outdoor rated cables. So you can see here, it says on, right there, oh hey birdie, outdoor use. All right, so this is Cat6, um, outdoor use, and it's for the, conform to the standard, which is there, A-N-S-I-T-I-A, cross C point two and ISO, IC 11801. So that's, I'm assuming it's the outdoor rated standard. I'm not that familiar with all the standards, to be honest. The good thing about standards is there's so many to choose from. But I got four of these five meter cables. One, two, three, and four. And I'm now gonna use them to uh, connect all the devices instead. So they're outdoor rated. Hooray! Um, now, with outdoor cables, you have these kind of cables, which are outdoor rated for just in the open air. And then you have direct bury cables as well. So if you want to put them in the ground, don't use these unless they're in conduit. If you don't want to use conduit, like a, you know, a PVC pipe or something, 
you need to use direct buried cables that are rated for that. So that's a different kind of standard than these cables are. So um, I'm going to put these on now and uh, make it all neat. And I'll talk to you after that. Um, yeah, so now I, uh, I put them in there. I put them still in the conduit because I think yeah, a bit of extra protection is pretty good. One of the things that I've learned, I'll just show you here, is that when you put things in conduit, here's my finger, um, right there, make sure there's kind of like a service loop. So these cameras here has what the cable goes down and comes back up so that if water does flow down, it sits at the bottom of the cable. Let me just see if I can show you properly here. So you can see here, that is the service loop, right? So if water does fall down here, it ends up down here, it doesn't go up the camera. That's pretty important. Um, it's still the conduit, make sure the water doesn't get in it. And if it does, it's gonna go fall all the way down because there's no uh, loop at the bottom. It just falls out. That's important. Make sure water can get away from your cables. Let me just show you in here. This is inside the pump shed, beautifully 1950s pump shed. But I've now got, oh, a bit crammed in here. Um, so I put that inside there. You saw me turning it on before. So that now sits neatly in there. Make sure, oh, that's my face, sorry about that. The D's, yeah, there, this grommet there, you see it's right there. Make sure that sits snug. Because what happens, especially in Australia, is that you know insects, wasps, stuff gets in it, and then you have a wasp nest inside your nice switch box. Not so good. Um, so yeah, they really nicely sat there, and I just cleaned up the cables down here as well. I thought that's important. So they sit much nicer. Um, the camera over here still needs to create a mount for, but at least the cable's sort of out of the way. That's just wedged in there. Official install. I know. That's Llama Camp 2. So, outdoor rated cable, uh, very important, to be honest, really important. I didn't use them for about a year. One did fail recently, and I had, I couldn't figure out why. Intermittent connection, on, off, on, off, on, off. I thought it was the nano station, it was just the cabling. So, lesson, use outdoor rated cables, it's really important. If you like this video, if it's something I didn't quite do right or can do better, let me know. I want to learn just as much as I want to, you know, share what I learn. So let me know in the comments. Um, if you um, like this video, click like and click subscribe and those things. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.